Hello everyone and welcome to another Antares Shipyard live stream. Today I am going to be live streaming my uh, play at home mission for the January month. Um, the mission entitled V'ger. And this will be my uh, TMP era playthrough. Um, so we're looking at ships from the original series era and the motion picture era. So for our first ship we have the USS Enterprise. Uh, coming in at 20 points uh, with Captain James T. Kirk, uh, the animated version. No, no, he's the uh, crew discount version with Elite Talent, the legacy of the name, um, tech of Transwarp Drive, crew of Montgomery Scott, uh, Pavel Chekhov, Valeris, and Hikaru Sulu. And that ship comes in at a grand total of 40 points. Um, and then we have our three Klingon ships, the first starting as the IKS Clothos with Captain Core and Disruptor Blast. The second Klingon ship is the IKS Goroth with Captain Kruge, Projected Stasis Field, Disruptor Blast, Kaz, and Stex. And that ship comes in at 30 SP. And then our last and final Klingon ship is the Chang's Bird of Prey with Chang, Overwhelm as Elite Talent. Targeting systems, photon torpedoes, uh, two copies of the Klingon photon torpedoes, and then Curla. And that ship comes in at 36 SP. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into um, the gameplay. Thank you, thank future Jerry. All right, so we have the board here set up for the V'ger OP mission through the Antares Play at Home OP series. Um, we In the top right-hand corner of the map here, we have the planet token set up, and I am using the 3D planet token. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, we have the objective token, which is four inches from either edge, with the mission token on top of it to represent Mr. Spock. And then over here we have the custom token that I had to make um, for V'ger. So I have included that into uh, my playthrough here. Um, we are using my TMP fleets first. So having that, having said that, let's go ahead and uh, move forward with getting them set up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set my Klingons up first. Um, just because of the way I have the camera angled, the directions on how to set them up are a little skewed. Let me adjust my card here. There we go. So this upper edge here is the east side. So you got east, south, west, and north. So the Klingon set up in this heat box here. Looks like range 1 to 2. Uh, range 2... There we go. Range 2 is 8 inches from the inside edge, so everything should be behind this line. So let's go ahead and set our Klingons up. We'll put Core there. We'll go ahead and put Kruge. Um, we'll put Kruge kind of sitting back behind him, and then Chang, we're going to do a little different type. We're going to have him facing this way. Okay, so my Klingons are set. Um, actually... I should probably make sure that these are all synced. Should have done that before I started setting them up, but that's okay. So core, we will put him there. Chang. We'll put back right there. Alright, and the Enterprise. <coughs> 
excuse me, and the Enterprise is already set up or synced. So they go in a range one um, from the planet. I believe that's right about in there. So let's go ahead and measure from the planet. Uh, let's back them up because I don't want the front of the base has to be behind. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah. And the Enterprise also gets three aux tokens at the start of the game. So those there are those. So I think everything is set and ready to go. Let's go ahead and change the map over to something streaming friendly. Um, let's try that. Okay. So there's that. So just real quick before I hit the starter on the timer. Um, I'm not using any kind of dials because it's just myself um, and I'm going to make sure I don't use any uh, movements that they don't already have on their cards. Before I hit, hit the timer, let's go ahead and let's take a top-down view um, so everybody can see what's going on on the board uh, from the bird's eye view. All right. Now, let's go ahead, I do need to turn those, perfect, I'm going to go ahead and hit the timer and we'll start moving ships. So Kruge is going to be General Banking 3 for his first maneuver, um, and he's not going to cloak, I don't think he can cloak, but he'll take a battle station. Chang is going to move all ahead one and cloak. And Core is also going to General Bank three and cloak. Now, the Enterprise, we're going to go ahead and move all ahead four, but we do have uh, Transwarp Drive uh, equipped. So during the activation phase, if your maneuver dial reveals a four straight, or five straight maneuver, you may instead use a six straight maneuver. So it doesn't change the color, so it's still a white maneuver. And pair that with Pavel Chekhov. Your ship can remove one auxiliary power token after performing a white maneuver. So we luckily lose one of those oxes. All right, so we are not within range one of anything. We are within range three, the objective token. Um, so now we are in the end phase and we're at the activation phase. So we'll go ahead and let V'ger move forward. Hard trying to get these tokens to move with these templates. Looks about right. And then V'ger itself gets a mission token, which I'm going to create a little pile here in the corner for it. All right. So that is done. So we've got all these other ships here. So let's go ahead and get some moves. So Kruge is going to do another gentle bank. Oh, wrong ship. Cruise is going to do a general bank three in this direction. And again, it's not within range, so he is going to battle station. Core eight is going to move all ahead. Well, this is Chang. Chang is going to uh, hard turn two in that direction. 
and then they are going to sensor echo. Uh, just one and forward. Now core is going to move ahead four. And they're just going to take an invade. Nobody is in range of V'ger yet. So the Enterprise is going to go ahead and move. Um, I think it's Channel Bank 3. No. Go ahead and move it all ahead 4. I'll clear one of these oxes here. Still doesn't get any actions, but we are within range of one of the ox power token, which is or the uh, objective token, which is good. Um, nobody else can do anything, so let's go ahead and clean the board. And we're back in the activation phase, so let's go ahead and get Vija rolling again. And then after. Get the V'ger token settled. Go ahead and give it another mission token. And we'll just give a top down view real quick. This is where it looks everybody's on the map um, currently. So let's go ahead and do some movements in top in the top view. So Kruge. It's going to go ahead and move all ahead four, which now puts it within range one of the V'ger token. And V'ger is within range. So it's going to use projected stasis field action. If your ship is not cloaked, disable all your remaining shields and discard this upgrade to target a ship at range one to two. The ship must disable all of its remaining shields and cannot attack this round. Your ship rolls two less attack die this round. So projected stasis field is gone. And V'ger cannot attack. And the Garoth doesn't have any shields. They're disabled for now. Uh, Chang is going to go ahead and sensor echo over one into the front. Wrong direction. There we go. And he's going to move all head four. Puts him within range. And now for his actual action. Um, Chang got to do that sensor echo because we have Chang equipped. Who during the activation phase if your ship is cloaked before you move you may perform an additional sensor echo with a one maneuver template as a free action. If you do so you may still perform the sensor echo action. So with Chang we're going to go ahead and target lock. Grab that on to V'ger. Uh, core is going to go ahead and do another Gentle Bank 3. This puts him within range 2. So he's going to sensor echo. Wrong direction. 1 and forward. And that puts V'ger within range 1. All right. Now the Enterprise is going to do a hard turn to, which is a white maneuver for them. It puts them clear of the objective token, and the ox power is gone. So their action is to beam the objective token, which is Mr. Spock, aboard the Enterprise. Now. We're in the combat phase. So Core is going to go ahead and attack. And it's going to use its Disruptor Blast. Uh, so three time tokens there. And we're going to put two time tokens on Core. So that's going to be a base of three, plus one for core, plus one for the ship, 
and it is a secondary weapon, so it does not get the plus one. Ouch. Okay. So, there's really nothing to do with these blanks. So Vidra takes a hit. Um, he needs four to be shut off. So we're going to go ahead and re-roll these for the second attack from Disruptor Blast. Okay, this is much better. So since Vidra doesn't have a primary arc, um, the Clothos... She needs to flip their shields. The Clothos... Um, the second ability kicks in, so I can convert one battle station into a critical hit result, and all other battle stations and hit results. So, one crit, hit, and really, Vidra converts all these down, so there's more than enough. Uh, that means Vidra will have six damage on it it's this turn, so one mission token's taken away. And that is that attack. Uh, core also prevents this from flipping. Um, nobody else can really do anything else to V'ger because you can only remove one mission token per turn. So that means we are in the activation phase again. There's nothing to clean up. So let's go ahead and switch back to camera one. Oh, let's time tokens off here, flip these shields back over, and we're good to go. Alright. Activation phase, let's go ahead and get V'ger moved. Now V'ger is allowed to bump ships. Um, but I think those ships get a Nox power token for touch and major. Um, I'll have to double check that in the rules. Uh, overlap ship base and then... Yep, auxiliary power token beside the ship. So it looks like Core is going to just barely clear V'ger, which is good on them. Um, Alright. So Cruz is going to go ahead and turn. That's the wrong ship. <coughs> it's going to go ahead. That's the general bank. Turn hard two. Yeah, turn hard two. White maneuver for them. And he is going to target lock. Feature. Excuse me. Chang <clears throat> is going to go ahead and sensor echo over one and forward. Wrong direction. And they are going to channel bank three, which puts V'ger in. Um, and they are just going to sensor echo two and back, I think. Wrong ship. There we go. Now, core eight is going to move ahead three. Can come about. Uh, we forgot to put another mission token on V'ger. Well, the Enterprise is going to General Bank 3 as well, which puts it just barely outside of range 2. Dang. Okay. Because the Enterprise needs to be within range 1 to 2 of V'ger to try and communicate. Um, so... Let's move on to combat phase. Core can attack with its primary weapon. So 
that's going to be base of three, plus one because the ship's cloaked, and then plus one for range one. Well, it's got no quality. So V'ger takes two hits. Um, we're going to go ahead and let Kruj attack with his primary. So that's three plus one. Ah, uh, Kruj, come on, all you needed was was two hits. Um, so with Kruj, um, when attacking with your primary weapon during the deal damage step, you may discard one of your crew upgrades to inflict one additional damage to the defending ship. So we'll go ahead and we will discard Kaz. To get an additional hit, which puts V'ger at four and takes a mission token off. So Chang does not need... Oh, well, I guess we could have used his target lock. But that's okay. So that's the end of that. Um, V'ger does retaliate, though. So V'ger's going to retaliate first against Kruj. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to go ahead and roll V'ger's attack roll first. Um, not looking good for Cruz. So he's got four hits and a crit. He's only rolling one defense die. He got an evade. So that takes out a hit. So three hits. Um, he's got two shields. So he takes a hit and a crit. This is for Cruz. Let's get these mission tokens out of the way. Hit and the crit is structural damage. Reduce your agility value by one. All right. Good news is he survived an attack from V'ger. <laughs> That's hard to do. Um, so now Core is going to get attacked from V'ger. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> and Core is cloaked, so he gets a cloak bonus. Uh, let's roll V'ger's attack roll first. Okay, V'ger has got, wow, four hits. Uh, Core has got one evade, and that's not good news. Core takes two hits and a crit straight to the hull. Two hits, and the crit is communications failure. Well, that's okay, because Core is now off the board. That was enough to destroy it. Okay. So, that's the end of that. And we're back to activation phase. And V'ger is going to go ahead and move. Okay. And it gets itself another mission token. So, 
Cruz is going to go ahead and general bank one. Structural damage. One attack die. Um, Cruz is just. You know what? Cruz is on the Goroth, which can't do cloak or anything, but it does get a battle station. So we'll do that. Chang is going to go ahead and move forward one. And then they're going to sensor echo. One into the back. Uh, two in the back, put them way out. I feel like one in the back also puts them way out. So he's not going to sensor echo. He is going to sensor echo. I won't complete so one and back. Puts him on top of V'ger, which is not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. Um, hopefully we won't need him this round. Now Kirk. It's General Bank in one. And they will be taking the action to target V'ger. Um, first they're going to take Legacy of the name, which is place three time tokens on this card, perform a battle station action or an invade action as a free action. If this card is equipped to a ship with the name Enterprise, you may perform any available action as a free action instead. Um, so we're going to perform Hikaru Sulu as our free action. Um, our General Bank 1 was also a green maneuver, so that activates Valeris, who gives us an invade. And now we're going to attempt to communicate with V'ger. Um, action, roll one attack die. So here's one. Um, if Admiral Kirk is assigned, plus one. If Mr. Spock is assigned, plus one. So we've got three attack dice we're rolling and so now we can place one mission token for every battle station result instead of every crit so for each crit and battle station result we get to place a mission token on the planet two that's wonderful um, we're just going to create a pile, <coughs> excuse me, create a pile on this side for the planet. So we've got two. That's great. Um, now comes the not so great thing. Beedrick gets to retaliate. And that is a 10 dice attack against the Enterprise. Five, six, seven, ten. And the Enterprise gets to roll three defense dice, thanks to Sulu. Oh man. Hold on, we're doing this step way too early. That was an action. Which means we're moving into the combat phase, and Vidra doesn't attack until the end of the combat phase. Okay. Kirk, you're saved for now. Um, so Cruz is going to go ahead and attack. He's going to use his Disruptor Blast. So that's three time tokens on that. So that's a base of three. Actually, no, he, he's choosing not to use that. He wants to use primary. So that's four. Spin the battle station. 
So there we go, that's four damage on V'ger, which removes a mission token. And that's it for the combat phase. Now V'ger responds. It attacks the Enterprise first. And the Enterprise is rolling three, thanks to Sulu. We'll roll V'ger's attack roll first. Oh, this doesn't look any better. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six hits and a crit. Seven total. Alright, so two evades. Can't do anything with the blank. So take two of these out. Uh, we have an evade token, so it takes one of those out. So we take three hits and one crit. So four in total, we have four shields. So our shields are gone. Enterprise survives. All right. Okay. Now V'ger's going to attack the Cruise. Two, three, four. Cruise gets no defense dice, thanks to that crit it's already got, and it's a bad roll from V'ger, but two hits is enough to send Cruise packing. And that is it, so we are back to activation phase. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top-down view. So you see we've got V'ger bearing down on the planet. And it should be getting there within the next couple of turns. Let's go ahead and get cruises. So it does get another mission token. Oh, uh, let's see. Yep. All right. So far, so good. So we've got crew, or we got Chang here, who is going to go ahead and sensor echo. Um, one in back. Perfect. And he's going to perform a hard turn two, which puts him outside of range one. That's where he wants to be. Um, and then he's going to sensor echo again, this time two into the back, other way. There we go. Yes. Perfect. He's trying to put some distance between himself. Uh, Kirk is just going to go one straight. The action there is to try and communicate again. So we get the base of one. We do have Admiral Kirk and Spock. Wow. Okay. So we get to place one mission token for every crit and battle station result. Um, maybe I'm not reading that right. For each crit result, place one mission token on the planet. Um, if Mr. Spock is aboard your ship, an additional roll an additional plus one attack die, and place one mission token on, on the planet for every battle station instead of every crit. Okay, so maybe it's just on the battle stations, which would put this, because we had a battle station crit. Um, so then we are up to two tokens here. And that's not good. That is not good. Um, so we move on to the combat phase. 
Chang. I was going to go ahead and fire. So he's firing his Klingon photon torpedoes. He doesn't need to spin the target lock. Um, but he will spend it. So, Vidra gets three damage. Um, oh, and turns us to a hit. So, Vidra gets four damage thanks to Klingon torpedoes. Which means it loses a mission token, but now it retaliates. So, Vidra, that's a time token. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Vidra's going after the Enterprise and they're only rolling one defense dice. Vidra's got three. Okay, it's a battle station. I'm going to switch this back over to camera one. There we go. So Vidra's got three hits and two crits against the Enterprise. That's a battle station results. That does not help. So the Enterprise takes three crit or three hits. Three hits. First crit is engine room fire. Second crit is munitions failure. Choose one of your weapon upgrades and discard it. We don't have a weapon upgrade, but that's enough to take out the Enterprise. Now we do have Chang left, who is rolling five defense dice. That's a bad roll from Viger, which is good for Cheng. Uh, Cheng also has Curla, so when defending, well, that's at range one, so he doesn't come into play. Um, at range two, let's go ahead and roll. Ooh. Two hits and a crit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it. That's an engine room fire. The Chang has been consumed by V'ger. And that is a defeat. of the Antares Shipyard V'ger mission, and it did not go down well. Um, I did better, a lot better than I normally do in this type of mission, uh, but in the end, V'ger still was able to consume everything in its path. And I could have kept playing until the planet, but V'ger would have ended up with more mission tokens um, than I had with the communication tokens. Um, so yeah, I'll be interested to see your guys' results, and until then, thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.